We <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> you know, I I don't know that I ever really had any definition on what I was supposed to do with Brittany. For a long time, they called me her chaperone, and then at one point they wanted to call me her partner, and we didn't think that sounded right. I definitely was not her mother, and I wasn't her big sister, so we settled on assistant. To be honest, I didn't then, nor do I now, understand what a conservatorship is, especially for somebody Brittany's age and somebody capable of so much that I know firsthand she's capable of. She was a small town girl from Kentwood, Louisiana. Can you describe Kentwood, Louisiana? Just a tiny, sleepy little town. Very hospitable and humble, unpretentious. We are who we are. We're not wealthy, but we're wealthy in many other ways. We are definitely in right in the middle of the Bible Belt. Brittany sang in the choir. She grew up going to church every Sunday. So I've known her since she was five. You know, by then we all knew her talent was just extraordinary. I will say the one reason that I agreed to do the interview is so we could remind people of why they fell in love with her in the first place.